some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to South Boston, Virginia, where we encounter a Sovtard who's trying to train somebody else in the art of being a complete moron, but in this particular occasion, it blows up completely in the Sovtard's face and leaving him with some fines to pay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? You're about to witness this shit firsthand. I haven't, haven't done this in a while. How you doing, sir? I'm all right. Is there a reason why you touched my truck? Uh, yes, sir. Safety reasons. Do you have your license? Yes, I do, man. That's why you pulled me over. Um, I couldn't see your inspection sticker. Uh, you had that sticker, but it doesn't look like you have an inspection sticker either, do you? Oh, I don't. Okay. Yeah, and I bet you're about to play dumb and act like you're totally unaware that Virginia does require inspections of your vehicle. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what's going to happen. But you know what? Here's the statute to show you that it does exist, just in case you say it doesn't exist. Do you have your license? Yes, I do. Can I see it? Um, yes, sir. I'm uh, grabbing that right now. Okay, uh, you said it was a safety issue why you touched my truck. Is Can you elaborate? I've never heard that before. Yeah, as soon as I get your license. Okay. And your name, please? Officer Throckmorton, South Boston Police Department. Officer Throckmorton. Okay. Uh, is there any reason why you don't have your uh, inspection sticker? Is it required? Yes. Oh, okay. State of Virginia. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, I'll look into that and uh, I'm sure I'll comply. Okay. Thank you. Give me one second, okay? okay. I'll be right back with you. Question, Softard. How long have you been driving in Virginia and you don't realize that this is a thing? No, no, don't answer that because I have a feeling that your lead paint addled brain will only make the answer that much more insane. All right, Mr. Raposo. Yes, uh, sir. I have a uh, one question. What is your current address? It, is this... The Chamberlain Street is that the current address? What is what is the uh, requirement for the address for? Well, I'm just making sure that it's correct on your license. Okay, what do you have there? Your license. No, I know you have my license. You you took that from me. Um, what is the paperwork you it's got a, there? It's a Virginia uniform summons that I'm gonna issue you for no inspection sticker. I just want to make sure that I have the right date. Is that a is oh. that a criminal infraction? Uh, it's a traffic infraction. It's a traffic infraction. Yes, sir. Um, can I file a criminal report with you since you pulled me over today? Absolutely, if you wish to do that. Yeah, but, yeah, I do. But I would, we could talk about that. It, I can't, I can't talk about that until I file the criminal report yeah, with you, sir, because yes, this can. pertains to evidence, to substantiate evidence of racketeering under color of law in regards to what you're soliciting here right now with an unconscionable contract bringing me into court already as a victim under duress from crime that I've already reported brought on by the Department of Motor Vehicles. Okay. Please allow me to elaborate. Um, are you familiar with what a motor vehicle is? Oh, this should be good. I've got my Black's Law Dictionary out so I can, uh, well, correct him on his bastardization of what the Black's Law Dictionary references actually say. Are you aware of the federal definition of a motor vehicle? I believe so. Okay. Are you aware that since you have belief and knowledge of what the federal definition of a motor vehicle is, that a motor vehicle by federal definition is one that is used on the highways explicitly for commercial purposes? You know, I am so disappointed that you didn't use Black's Law Dictionary, but I can still look it up on the CFRs. And here it is right here. And well, to be perfectly honest, you are quite wrong again. So, soft hard, you might as well go ahead and pull your head out of your ass and stop smoking those lead lace cigarettes because they're not doing you any good as far as your mental capacity goes. Are you aware of this? I don't believe that is correct. But it is much so correct. Can you please look that up real quick before we proceed? Because I am filing a criminal report right now with you. Okay, well, we can do that after this situation. Sir, you don't want to participate in racketeering under color of law right now. 
and bring in unwittingly a prosecutor to prosecute me over a victimless crime if you know nothing about the law surrounding what you're involving yourself with right okay. now. So, so can I please begin to file my criminal report with you yeah. before you engage in racketeering under color of law and deprive me of my rights, bringing me in for another malicious prosecution where you wouldn't have evidence to substantiate that I am legally required to have that okay. because this is federally protected property. You said yourself you have knowledge of what the definition of a motor vehicle is. Is that correct? Yeah. So you want to get this officer charged for the RICO Act, but do you even know what you have to do to get charged under RICO? Here's the list right here, and it appears that none of these fit the criteria of what this officer is doing, considering that this is a traffic stop. And I really doubt that even your version of embezzlement would cover this kind of thing. I mean, if you want to fight this in court, by all means, go ahead and fight in court. But uh, RICO charges? Yeah, I don't think so, Tim. Okay, you are aware that federally, I'm telling you federally, and you can look this up right now in Google, the federal definition, which you will see for your own eyes if you investigate the criminal report that I'm making right now, alleging felony crime has occurred. I haven't got into it yet, but the federal definition states that you're claiming, is. The, are you claiming this to be a motor vehicle? What you're driving, yes. Okay, federally it's not. Okay. Well, Have you any right evidence right, right now that I'm state. engaged in commerce right now on the roads? I'm writing you a state code, not a federal I have, code. I have, I'm not a statist, sir. Are okay. you a statist? Do you have a Virginia license? What are you holding? Your Virginia license. And I'm you're asking right. me what? You're, if you're not a statist, then why would you carry a Virginia license? I'm a victim under duress. Oh, wait, I tried to pull a victim card out, but it is a complete failure considering that the average Sovtard would fight this all the way to court and uh, will still get charged for it. You're not a victim. You're just a lead paint guzzling moron. Right, yeah, so and, and that's why I'm trying to file a criminal report because this is ongoing racketeering that I'm yeah. involved with as a victim. All right, so let me explain this to you. I don't need you to. I need you to take the criminal report because you're about to engage in becoming an accessory to their crimes after the fact. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Do you really? Yes. I but do. you're not writing this down. I know, but we have taking to... evidence from my mouth under penalty of perjury that I'm giving you right now. Okay, are you finished? I, you obviously haven't began to take an appropriate formal criminal report, well, and I'm requesting you perform your administrative duties. Are you a member of the Blue Wall of Silence? I'm asking because you're wearing a thin blue line on your badge I'm to cover. This. Is it, it covering a number? No, sir. It's not. You don't have a badge Memorial number. Two police officers that were uh, shot this. Okay. In the last week or so. Okay. Um, Do you have a blue line on your car or anything? But you got it on your so uniform. Mine, mine okay. Is, uh, are you aware of what obstruction is, sir? I, I am. You are. Because okay. I'm investigating you, Mr. Throckmorton, okay. right now on camera for obstruction of justice, failing to perform your administrative duties, taking a criminal report as required by law with information pertaining to what you're involving yourself into right now when you know nothing about it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the Obstruction of Justice Virginia Code. Yeah, looking at this, it would seem that uh, you would be the one obstructing justice at this point, according to this statute right here, uh, dude. This officer is just doing his job while you're trying to uh, obstruct his duties at this point. So, dude, you are pretty much projecting your faults onto this officer at this point and you're not doing a very good job of it either all right so i'm gonna explain this i'm to not you. signing in and i don't no, need you. your cops explaining sir i'm good do okay. what you feel is necessary that's, that's what i'm gonna do because so, i don't consent to your your unauthorized racketeering at Mr. the end of the day Rebusso, you told me you, you know that this up. is not a federal motor vehicle by definition and you're engaging me in criminal solicitation right now with the racketeering under color of law okay so here, here's what we're going to do is you have a court date of April 18th, 2022. What happens if I don't show up to this court date as a victim of your crime under duress? 
Do you for want fear me? that you might show up and further retaliate with members of the bar and judges against me. Okay. Well, let me explain. Well, I'm it asking to you. you seriously, what happened? Let me explain it to you. Cops we'll playing. Go ahead. Ah, the use of the word cops planning done by people who just have no argument to begin with, or all their arguments have completely fell flat on their face. And in this particular case, all his arguments were ignored by the officer, mainly because they're a bunch of bullshit arguments. You have a court date at Halifax General District Court. Yes, sir. April 18th, 2022, 8.30 a.m. And this involves you, a prosecutor, right? Are you stupid or something? I charged you with no state inspection sticker. Okay. Okay? I'll give you the option to sign on this line. You don't have to. You just have to know that your court date is April 18th, 2022, huh? at 8.30 a.m. And, and I asked you, what's... If you have any questions, you can call this number beside GDC. So I can't ask you the question, yeah, what happens if finished, I don't show? After I'm finished. Okay. I did also mark the, pre, uh, the box for you can prepay. Okay. Okay. And I would like to hand you this copy. Is that a supervisor? Um, I'm I not want, sure. I can't see. Can we bring him over here? Hey, come well, on. Let's finish this. And well, then... I want a witness that also has a badge too, please, because yeah, okay. I, I want to get into this criminal okay. report with you. Um, here is your license and a copy of this summons. Okay. I don't want a copy of the summons. I don't. Okay. Well, it's, it's okay. totally up to you, but I want I want my you. license. Okay. That's got my photo ID yeah. D on it. This is proof of citizenship. Am I correct? Citizenship? Citizenship. Is this proof of citizenship? Uh, it's proof that you have a Virginia license. Okay. Oh, or citizenship in the state of Virginia, right? Uh, proof of citizenship? I'm a Virginia yeah. resident. I'm a citizen of the state? Uh, I assume that's what All right. You want to call me a status because I got this little piece of placard, right? Okay. So okay, cool. I just want you to make sure you know that your court date is April 18th, 2022, 830. I don't care about that right with now. No state I care about the state. criminal report I need to file when you're okay. done. Okay. If you want to file a criminal complaint for what it was that? You, you don't recall anything I just told well, you? Well, I'm, I'm trying to do one thing at a Sir, time. Sir, do you know where sure you're at done. right now? <laughs> I do. Are you, where are you at? Can I'm you in South Boston, Virginia. More specifically, what location? Walmart. Okay, Park all right. I'm just making sure. Do you know about what time of day it is? I would say 4.40. Okay. Are you under the influence of any illicit substances right <laughs> Mr. now? Mr. Raposo, if you have a complaint that you wish to file, I'm only you asking you these questions because you told me... I mean, you... We talked about the ID and okay. contradicted right, yourself Russell, already. Man, oh man, this cop is being way too patient with this dumbass right here. He is so damn condescending. It is freaking ridiculous. He thinks he knows more than the cop does about the laws of the road. I mean, no, he doesn't. The only thing he knows how to be is a condescending jackass. You know your court date. We're done with this. If you would like to follow complaint or something else. With you right you now in regards to this, you just department. made yourself okay. an accessory, sir. Can you right. please get a pen? You have a nice day. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not done with you, sir. You're dismissing yourself and you're obstructing justice because I'm attempting to file a criminal report with you. And that's where the video ends, folks. I mean, this guy is a complete condescending moron who thinks that he knows everything, but when actually put to the test, he comes out looking like a complete and total, well, wanker, to say the least. And that's generally the case with all soft hearts. When you actually put their arguments to a microscope, there's nothing there. It all falls apart. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?